like this. Later on, like this. First of all, I am taking the white rope on my hook. Later on, I'm making yarn over with my uh, lilac, lilac color, like this. We are going on making the cord like this uh, till the cord comes to the uh, enough length for us. Like this. We are always going making the cord like this. Look, we have two colors of cord. Make the colors like this uh, as much as uh, the length you like. Uh, come to the end. We have the cord. We have the beads. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pulling down, making a circle by inserting in the first uh, chain, one, two, now I am making 14 double crochet, this is one, this is two, this is three, This is four, this is five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It is finished. It is very easy. Now I will cut the rope, but I need some rope in order to make the invisible uh, round finish. So I am making my needle in my hand, this time I will use a smaller, I will use this kind of needle, yes, what am I doing, how I am doing this invisible stitch, you see, this is my starting chain I made two chains in order to start making double crochets and at top of this you see this kind of V shape you see at top there is a V shape now I am inserting my needle in the front side of the V shape till the back side like this I am pulling the rope So I did my first step. What did I do? I did the first side of the V shape. Now I'm inserting in the same stitch like this. You see? It's been a now invisible stitch. Now I am hiding the rope at the back side like this. A few times I am doing this.
then it will be finished. I am cutting the rest of the rope like this. Okay. Now I will tell you how we are going to make it. I am taking the cord in the needle. Now, first of all, I'm taking the white bead. This is the front side, this is the back side. Later on, I'm taking the purple beads. One, two, three, four, five. And then taking another white bead. Now I'm taking the white bead. White bead again, but this time uh, the, ba uh, the back side will be first, the front side uh, will look at the right side, like this. Now purple, back side, front side. This is the back side, this is the front side. This is the back side, this is the front side. And now the white bead. Meanwhile, I measured the cord for you. It is 80 centimeters. You don't have to make the same. Maybe you will make a short necklace. That's completely depends on you. I'm just trying to show you uh, how I am uh, making the main parts of this uh, necklace. Now, this will be the middle, will be in the middle. So I'm making like this in order to uh, make it in the middle. This should be uh, keep uh, like this for this reason. I will make a knot here. I am doing like this. I am making just a standard knot. I made it here. I am making the same at the other side as well. Like this. Like this. So, uh, this will not move from now on. Now, what I am doing, I will go and making the same. Like this. Now I will take all the beads again on the rope. I made the knot here. I will make another knot at this side also. Like this. Now this cannot move back with or forward. Now I am leaving five centimeters again. Well, you like this five centimeters, and I am making a knot here. Now I am taking the beat at the other side. I'm taking my rope in the needle at the other side because this side is finished. I am at the other side. What am I doing? Um, I will do the same. Firstly, um, the back side. This is the back side. Now I am going to the purple color. like this one 
to look this is back side this is front side what am i doing this is front side you know like this look front side back side like this front side back side like this i'm taking and i'm taking my white bead once again like this now it's the turn for the white bead okay once again i will take the purple beads pardon i will take the white bead but this time it will be like this like this this is the front side this is the back side the front side is looking to my left the back side is looking to my right one two three four now i'm taking the fifth bead here and the white bead what am i doing i am making a knot also at the side because these uh, should not be moved the parts should be fixed like this now we are nearly at the end it's been like this I'm taking the bead in the rope I'm making a knot here it's about four or five centimeters space here I'm taking the bead on my rope and I am making another knot with these knots uh, we are keeping the beads stable so they do not move now I am doing the same thing on the other side it's about same space left I am making a knot first later on I am taking the bead like this I am making another knot like this it's really been a very stylish necklace now we are at the last step this is the white crochet bead you know I am taking this like this I will just take one white remaining rope from the cord I will fix this I'm just trying to fix this on the cord I'm repeating this once again in order to fix tightly it is finished now I am tidying this with the purple remaining rope A few times I'm tidying in order to make it strong it's okay I'm cutting the rest that's finished we 
will do the same thing for this one with the other white bead. Yes, at last it is finished. It's been a very stylish, very nice necklace. It's going to be your favorite during the summer days with your summer dresses. Thank you so much for watching the video till now, dear friends. If you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe it for my future videos. I will be with you in the coming videos with a very beautiful, very nice projects. Thank you and thank you.